Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to the channel. My name is Wayward Products and today we are back with Course Party Blood Drive. I just finished editing or well, recently just finished editing the last video and I cannot tell you <laughs> how bad it was playing that episode. Honestly, I don't even think I can give a good enough summary for it because there was just so much going on and so much confusion for for me as well as some of the characters within the game um essentially we were with um ayumi and yoshiki to begin with right which honestly whatever they're going through is more normal than whatever naomi and satoshi are going through um and we got this uh crystal um victory from one of the pillars uh, we did that, boom, it was done, they left, we came into, um, no, we didn't do that yet. Um, we left, and then we, we got sucked back into the normal world, where, like, Naomi and Satoshi are still trying to, like, figure out where their friends are, how can they get to Heavenly Host, like, how can they help them, yada yada yada. Turns out, Ms. Kuon has just taken it upon herself to make a hot spring in Satoshi's front garden or back garden or something and then she confessed her love to him which is just what <laughs> why how much older than him are you like I mean you're and not only that but you're a teacher um confusion right I'm confused there was just a lot happening um, I'm not gonna break it down any further than that because there was just a lot of weird stuff happening. If you want to watch that, go check it out. <laughs> but I, I will not be watching that ever again, okay? I am done. I have edited the video. I have posted it. It's done. It's gone. I am not touching it again. <laughs> and then we came back to these guys and they basically, the, uh, the door on the right here was boarded up to begin with and Ayumi used a crowbar to open it up. And then they came in here, there was a little cutscene where they were talking to each other, and I was like, can, can we just finish this, please? Like, I just want to move on. And yeah, so we know one of the pills are in here because her pocket is glowing. So, ah, okay, let's let's do this. I, I honestly do not want to go back to the normal world again. I cannot stand whatever is happening over there. Uh, there's nothing of note inside the cabinet. Is that true for... Yeah, okay, all of the... Nope, that's... Yep, that's how I run. <laughs> there's nothing of note. Nothing of note. Okay. A name tag rests besides the corpse. Is Kawaki middle class 2-4 Eiji Izumi. Drowned in attempt to drink from bucket. How... This bucket? How did you do that? Unless, like, a spirit pushed your head in while you were trying to drink from it. But, okay. Or it just magically moved and drowned you itself. I mean, it's corpse party. We Honestly, anything is possible. What is it? Uh, I don't know. Didn't you just hear something? God, don't scare me like that. Sorry. Yoshiki? What the hell? Are we good? Okay, I'm not going back that way. What's this? Let me in. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, of course. It's right in the middle of the pool. The old pool. Definitely not a fan of this place. I can't remember it too clearly, but didn't I almost drown in here before? Yeah, and I really don't want to go through that again. So let's not do any diving this time around, okay? Well, it's not like I want to be here. 
Hey, wait. I told you not to go off by yourself. Oh. Wait. Uh, I'm just playing as him. She's gonna get possessed again or something, isn't she? Where's she gone? Ayumi! Okay. <laughs> Good. The stone's indicating it's in the water. You serious? How can you possibly know that? Look, the closer I hold it to the water, the stronger it reacts. Yeah, but that water is full of all kinds of debris. There's no way we can get in there safely. I guess not. Okay, that's what we got the the room for, the pool room. Oh, never mind. Oh, maybe we can access it from the other side? Oh, but there's a dead body here. A name tag rests besides the corpse. East Kawaki, middle class 2-4, Katsuki, Asayoka. Drowned after leaping into pool. Okay. <laughs> so maybe we shouldn't go in the pool? Can we do anything with this? There's rusted mold all around the spigot. No? Okay. And we can't get to the... Do we need, like, a board? Or is she just gonna, like, jump into the pool? And we just hope for the best. Um, pressing buttons everywhere. Trying to see if there's anything we can do. Doesn't look like it. Maybe we can't do this right now. Um... I'm just going to double check the other side again. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I would hate to get stuck after we had so much progress in the last couple of videos, so... Oh, yeah, no, there we go. This gap is too wide to jump. There's got to be something we can use to cross it, though. There we go, that's what I thought. Okay, so we need to go get a... Um... Whatchamacallit. That won't get us across. I remember seeing a pretty sturdy looking loose floorboard back in the gym, though. I'd rather not go all the way back there to get it, but you think we should? Yes. Okay. Thank you for giving me some sort of direction. I appreciate you. If you missed the, um, the first, like, because I've been playing, um, I've been playing Course Party for, for a long time now, I think, on this channel. Um, oh, right. There was a mysterious sound somewhere over here. Something is bound to be chasing me or whatever um but if you if you miss like the the very first um series of this we get to see that scene that she was talking about but not only that i accidentally killed her <laughs> i was like i think it was the first death that i had done that wasn't on purpose like it wasn't part of the story or something um I, I didn't mean to. Basically, she got possessed and she walked into the pool. And then I turned on the pool pump. But it but because like the 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 crate not the crate, the grate that would like stop things from going into there um was loose. She basically went in there and she got crushed to death. Um while also being underwater, so presumably drowning as well. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it was very accidental, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that, that's the moment that they're talking about. Um, I won't say the videos have really good quality, but if you're interested in checking that out, that is, um, also on this channel. Oh, where's the thing gone? Oh, it was just, like, a black mass. You can see the shadow coming off of it. Oh, there's the floorboard thing. Why do I feel like I'm about to be, like, 
I don't like this. This is... Hmm. This plank of wood seems like it could come in handy. Loose board obtained. Cool. Alright, I'm getting out of here right now. Doesn't feel safe in here. <laughs> Let's leave. Okay. We're good. All good. I did have a theory for the last episode, though. Um, so when Satoshi was saying something along the lines of how... Like, when Miss Kuon confessed to him and he was like, oh, but I don't actually know you. And then she was kind of shocked by that. And he was like, oh, maybe, like, this timeline's version of me knows her more than, like, I do. Like, I'm wondering if while they're in this world, like, a, a timeline, if they die here, is being played out. You know what I mean? So, like, in the case of Miss Yui, like, a timeline where... Miss Kuon was the teacher to the Kisaragi students was playing out. And so in that timeline, Satoshi knew Miss Kuon really well. Maybe to the point of liking her back. Can I? Come on. Thank you. I was going to say that maybe their bodies are like, but we know like their, their bodies are still like going through the motions, making a timeline. But we know that that's not true because Naomi and Satoshi are still in the real world while Ayumi and Yoshiki are here. Okay. Um, that gap is too wide. We might have something to cross it. Loose board. So maybe like at the moment there is a timeline being created where um, Ayumi and Yoshiki have died in this world, and so it's like, it's got like, Naomi and Satoshi, you know, and Miss Kuon, and that's about it. I wonder if this key will work. Yes, it fits. What is that noise? Oh, is that the pool being drained? What sound? Okay, the pool water should be drained now. Let's check it out. But I could theorize all I'd like, honestly. Is it frozen over? What the hell is this? The pool water wasn't drained, instead it was frozen. Wow, but how did this happen? God, seriously, just wait for me, damn it! I swear! Yeah, no, I could see your eyes all alike, and I could pretend like I know anything about this game, but honestly, I don't. <laughs> Oof. Are those, like, tentacles? Like, squid tentacles? Seriously, don't just... What? What's wrong? Look! Yeah, those are like... Tentacles. I'm concerned. The center of the frozen pool was lit up with a large pink mass visible beneath the surrounding ice. It was impossible to tell exactly what this mass was, however, through the cloudiness of the frozen, muddied water. What is it? I don't know. No, you're still talking. Yoshiki, shush. <laughs> I don't know. A jellyfish? Or an octopus, maybe? Not that that would make any sense. This is where the charm is directing us, though. See? Uh-oh. What the... 
I got a bad feeling about this. Let's get out of here, Shinazaki. No, they both just fell into the water, didn't they? Yeah. And now it's red. Ugh. Shinazaki, can you swim? My feet can't quite... Oh no! <laughs> that doesn't sound good. What was that? Who cares? Just swim over to me. What's wrong? We already knew there was something there, I mean, <laughs> we knew that there was some something with some sort of tentacles and now it's alive again, so yes. Something touched me, there's something in the water. Okay, it's going to be alright, okay? Grab onto my shoulders, but don't panic. If you apply too much pressure, we'll both drown. Okay. Ah. Okay, so she she didn't know how to swim before. Well, I guess that makes sense with her um when we were in the bathroom and it started filling up with liquid and she like immediately panicked. Like cuz she doesn't know how to swim. That that makes sense. Ah, okay. God, I'm just glad she learned to swim after almost drowning here before. Is he just walking on air? <laughs> Look at the animation! What's going on? I'm not getting any closer. Oh. What is this? Bursting from the very centre of the pool, there were now large pink tendrils of flesh flailing about, each one stained liberally with blood. God damn, like something out of a nightmare. Kishinuma began to tremble at the sight of this bizarre monstrosity. Though it probably had more to do with the fact that we were both now being pulled toward the centre of the pool by a sudden water current. You gotta be kidding me! Wait, you're not gonna force me to play? Oh, you are. This is the worst. Wait. Wait! Oh, this is stupid. Why is he underwater? Why do I have to do this? I don't like this. Where are you? Through the murky water, I saw only fleeting glimpses of Kishinuma, and he saw only fleeting glimpses of me, with tentacles protruding through my chest and pulling me under. I'd been completely impaled multiple times in multiple places, and died virtually instantly as one of the giant squid's razor-like limbs penetrated my heart. Shigasaki! No, please! What is it? <laughs> does like, does Sachi just have like a bunch of just pets? Just weird pets? Oh, okay. No, yeah, it's the wrong end. Let me just sip some, some <laughs> chocolate, hot chocolate while he, he does this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wrong end. Slap. Okay. Um. <laughs> I got stuck on something. Yeah. 
<laughs> I got stuck on like a board thing or whatever. Okay, well I will um I will cut to when we when we get back to that part and hopefully I actually beat it this time. I will see you all then. Okay, we're we're back to the moment just before we got like grabbed. So we are <laughs> we're gonna do this a bit more quickly than we did last time. Let move. Okay. So the last time I just sort of wandered over there. I'm gonna try and run a little bit this time though. Okay. We got it. We're good. Yes, cool. I nearly got stuck again though. <laughs> Ugh. Those sounds are way too good. <laughs> Please stop. Ugh. Oh, ah, I you me. <laughs> Shudazaki, damn it, let it go. You don't want me to do something, do you? Because I I don't know what to do. For a moment, all hope seemed lost. Then all at once, there was a flash, a brief shing, and the unmistakable squelch of metal slicing through meat, and the octopus's arm was severed. Who? Okay. I don't, okay, I don't have to do anything, I just... Who did it? Or did it accidentally just cut itself? An ear-piercing sound echoed through the entire fenced-in area and the whole atmosphere suddenly changed. The water reverted to its normal muddy colour with the light rain and the wind subtly etching their usual patterns across the mug. What happened? Yeah, what just happened? Shinazaki, hey, you okay? I'm still alive, so I'm fine. Could have fooled me. It was clearly not fine, but Kishinuma's nervous laugh had a certain reassuring quality to it. Oh, it's Magari. Oh, right, because she's got the scythe thing. Me too. At the pool side stood a strangely dressed girl brandishing an enormous scythe. <laughs> There's nothing fine about either of you. Everything you're doing in here is reckless and foolish. I hope you're at least learning your lesson. You. Who are... Pleasure to meet you, Ayumi Shinazaki. My name is Magari Mizuki. I'm an executive officer in the Mag Tubas. <laughs> and I just saved your life, luckily enough. You're the one who saved us? Thank you. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, she's being all pleasant. <laughs> when is her attitude going to come back? She says it with, like, the R has a U on the end because of the, like, the language, right? But is it, is it actually Marutubas or is it Matubas? 
Are you referring to the secret society that call themselves Martuba's Tome? I didn't realize it actually existed. So, what's your involvement here? How do you know about us? We're supposed to be a secret society? Yeah, well, Shinozaki's an expert on old urban legends and stuff. Not much she doesn't know. Margaret glared at Kishinuma for a moment with an ice cold expression. <laughs> can we <laughs> can we remove everything please I'm just gonna once I kill Misto you're next I just skip over it <laughs> what the hell are you talking about I didn't grope a damn thing don't listen to her, Shinazaki. I mean, look, I'm sorry I latched onto you, but I needed to come here in order to protect her, no matter what. You're wasting your time protecting someone like her. What? The hell gives you the right to say that? Margari ignored Kishinuma's question completely and turned her attention to me. You weren't able to obtain the Book of Shadows here, were you? I was assured you had the ability to return the Nirvana back into the book, so I've been helping you out from behind the scenes. Wait a second, wasn't she like really, I can't remember, but wasn't she like what we assumed the bad guy at the beginning of this? So is he, I, I've been under the assumption that she's been the bad guy. Is she actually just trying to help? No, I think it's that they wanted the Book of Shadows for themselves, uh, but they wanted Ayumi to find it first. I can't remember now <laughs> okay sure yeah whatever we'll just continue <laughs> what so, no, no. you have this revelation seemed to instantly calm kishinuma's rage i don't have it but that's because i was tricked You don't have the book. The means are irrelevant. All I care about is the end, and you've failed. Miserably. You've wasted my time. You're completely worthless. Oh, she got the thing. Hmm. So this is one of the crystals of the six demons, is it? It's blue, so that would make it the Sephiroth of Mercy. So you want to know who I am, do you? Yeah? Well, no, not really. But it's just a means to an end. <laughs> Oh, okay, well she is. <laughs> well then, once again, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm your enemy. Okay, so I was I was right. I, I just thought I was getting a bit confused there. I was like, oh, maybe she's actually being nice. And I just sort of took it out of context last time. No, she she's the enemy. Marguerite took the glowing stone and attached it to her necklace. If you keep on following that Yagora Misto's orders, make sure you're prepared to die. I'll be taking this. 
Wait. Do you see all those red letters everywhere? You have no idea just how big a curse you're messing with here, so don't stir up the Nirvana any more than you already have. Curse? What are you talking about? Please, give it back. Oh, there she goes. This is really bad. What do we do now? Whatever we do, we have to catch her or we can't go home. Shinazaki, stay indoors. I'll be back. Wait, Kishinuma, I'm going with you. She lost him, did she? You have no stamina. <laughs> Kishinuma! God, where did he go? Okay. Are we playing? Yay! We're back. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So, yeah, she's she's still the bad guy. Um, is this the... Where am I? Oh, this is the second building. I haven't seen any trace of Aiko or Misto either. Oh, that's probably not good. That door really scares me. Alright, let's go in it. <laughs> oh, no. What happened? Uh oh. Oh, um. That's. It was. It was the enormous man I'd seen before passing out when I first arrived here on this new heavenly host. The giant who stood before me wore a steel helmet and was splattered with blood all over his body. Whoa, he's quick. He swung his giant axe at me. He's loud as well. Its blade alone was easily the size of a human body. I dodged his swing, but the floor of the skull where it struck was utterly destroyed on impact. If that thing had hit me, there'd have been no chance of survival. Oh, what? Survived the attack for 60 seconds? Eh. What? Uh? <laughs> oh, whoa. whoa, he can teleport that. <gasps> a sinister aura permeates the area ahead. There might as well be a wall blocking any forward movement beyond this point. Are you serious? You gotta be joking with me. Damn it, this is not good. What is it? No! Oh no! Oh god, is there no way out of here? Are you me? No! <laughs> There's like three of them! What am I supposed to do? I looked down to see my pelvic bone hit the ground with a dull thud, followed by a series of plops and a red vapour as all of the viscera and internal organs inside me piled out on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to leave the building? I don't think I could. I think I was just supposed to sort of run around that area and hope for the best. Which obviously was not great. <laughs> <laughs> okay um all right well um i don't think there was a lot happening in there right so we could probably just hang on i just i need a second we can't really explore this area because she just sort of goes to that spot immediately right 
So, hang on, just, I just need to breathe. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Let me just take a sip of my hot chocolate. Oh, there's a hallway down that way. I suppose we could go down there. Okay, let's skip all of this. I'll just hold this button and hopefully pass by all of it. I would have skipped to cut to, but I didn't think that there was a lot, really. It was just um pretty simple, so. I wonder if he's supposed to be like Sachi's rendition of the um who was he, the janitor, the the son of the principal? Okay. Survive the attack for 60 seconds. Stop breathing for a second. What's the time now? I'm at 40 minutes. Okay. I just need to survive until like okay. We could just do that. We could just move him back and forth between this area. It doesn't look like we can go to any like doors or anything like that. Oh no, what? That's you didn't touch me. Okay, if I get hit again, I'm gonna die for sure. What? No! What happened? Oh, Ayumi. Can I go this way? No, I can't. Are you serious? Okay, now there's two of them. I am not going to activate any more of them, though, because that just screams danger for me. No! Ayumi, seriously, no! I didn't want to activate more of them. <gasps> no. Oh, oh, oh. no. 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 <laughs> I'm so close. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Um. <laughs> Hang on. There's going to be something I'm missing here because I got to 41, like 30. That was well over 60 minutes, uh, 60 seconds. So I'm I'm missing something. Am I supposed to like activate them all in the time? Because she she does have like a little like um prompt, right? She's like, is there no way out of here? Hang on. Uh, before I continue, I'm just gonna I'm gonna look this up because <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna be stuck here forever, just constantly screaming. Um. Okay. Where where are we? Um, this is still chapter four. Yeah, so we got that. No, oh, I gotta go further down. Hallway, hallway, hallway. Oh, um, I just boiled some stuff for myself. Um, okay, go down, get ready, survive for 60 seconds, just run around in the middle hallway, sprint if it growls like it's about to attack, do not approach any door or entrance way, another pursuer will, pers will appear and pursue if you do. Okay. No, I just, I just gotta be better. <laughs> it's, um, alright, well I am gonna cut to when I am running around screaming again, I will see you all then. All right, so there's not a lot of screaming actually happening. Um, I did this, I think, two or three times off camera before I actually got a winning run. Um, essentially, I got into the point where I was trying to talk to you guys too much and I wasn't able to focus on what I was actually doing, which was, you know, paying attention to when he was attacking me and how to beat him. Um, what I ended up doing, as you can see, was I would go back and forth in between that middle hallway and I would wait for him to get to me, try to hit me, and then I would run forward with a burst of speed and do a loop around at the end of the hallways. Um, I also realized that the issue wasn't that, you know, being close to him, it was just um, another thing entirely. And you can also see that I did mess up a little bit because I activated another pursuer, but... 
Um, I do believe I ended up finishing it um, in a couple of seconds after that, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. What's happening? <laughs> Kishinuma! Where are you? I hate this. Now's not the time to be crying, please. Hey, Mr. Toad, <laughs> Mr. Toad's calling us. Right. It was Mr. Yep. <laughs> hey, how to work, huh? Does he have some sort of sixth sense? He like calls her every time she's down. I can't take this anymore. I got separated from my friend and all I want to do is go home. And so is her stamina as well. Man, your endurance is crap, isn't it? You don't have to talk to me like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, there are only two pillars left, right? Each time you break the seal on one of them, I can feel it. I can feel the Nirvana's energy wavering. That's how I know you're hard at work. And doing your best. A sudden and unambiguously genuine compliment like that from Misto, of all people, reassured me more than it probably should have. I began to get misty-eyed. One of them was taken by a girl named Margari, though. Margari and Mizuki, huh? Things haven't been going as planned for her, so I'll bet she's pissed as hell right now. I wouldn't worry too much, though. She's after the same thing we are, so she'll show up again to try and get the other crystals. And when she does, we can nab the one she took. Okay. So, uh, just keep going on, I guess. I'm in what looks to be the core of this school, so I'm gonna do a little digging of my own. Trust me, we'll find each other, and when we do, we'll get the hell out of here together. Alright, I'll do the best I can. That's a good girl. Alright then. What? <laughs> Never mind, I was about to say, he's so nice. Except Mito was actually talking to me from back home. He was standing on top of a jungle gym during the entire conversation, to be exact. He was letting me do the dirty work while he used the Ever After Stones to jump back to the real world on his own. There was no way I could have known that, though. I'd resolved to just soldier onward and unlock the remaining pillars, truly believing that Misto would swoop in and save me in the end. We'll fight our way back to reality. Together, Ayumi. As he stared intently at the black sphere in the sky, a creepy smile spread across Misto's lips. And in his hand, he held a thick, Black hard pound tome that bore a striking resemblance to the Book of Shadows. <sighs> I. Okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have guessed the old man's manuscript could have come in handy in a place like this? Book of Shadows. Name. 
If there's no Book of Shadows in there, I'll just have to make my own. Okay. I... I want to say I feel betrayed. <laughs> but I kind of didn't trust him to begin with. <laughs> like... Alright. Chapter 4 finished. Um... So usually at the end of these, like chapters I kind of talk about how it went and how I feel and everything but um I'm reeling I I honestly have nothing to say I have no no emotions that I can vocalize at this point I am this whole thing was just terribly confusing like there there's just a lot of weirdness happening happening in the real world with Miss Kuon and Satoshi uh we just learned that Ayumi um and Yoshiki are essentially stuck. Oh, not not even just them. Ayumi, Yoshiki, um, Aiko, and um, what's his face? Is it Iguchi? Um, they're all basically stuck in the Nirvana without um, ever after stones because Margaret has the other set, and I doubt she is willing to let them ride with her back. Misto is just like, bye, and <laughs> has abandoned them all, um, and turns out to be evil, which I, I, I'll, okay, I, to begin with, I didn't trust him, and then I, I was sort of falling in love with his character a little bit there, I was like, oh yeah, no, he's, he's actually kind of cool, no, um, I feel betrayed, <laughs> I, I, um, okay, <laughs> I honestly, I, I just can't right now. Um, what else have we unlocked? Strawberry milk bun! Cell phone, Mio Yuzuki, Pool, Satsuki, Mizuhara. X chapter 3 has been unlocked. We'll, we'll have to do those as well. I think they're, they're extra chapters, or like extra for that chapter or something. We'll have to go through them too. I just got an achievement. Achievement unlocked the unconceding. Wow. Okay, um, yeah. No, I am... <laughs> okay. Uh, the next chapter we'll be doing is chapter 5, um, Breakdown. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos on the channel. This is, what, part 14 of Blood Drive? So there's a lot happening and I have already mentioned in this video that um, there was a linkage to the first game. So if you want to check those out, you can. Um, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.